Hey everybody, Hamza Krumza here, and today I'm going to show you how to do an 18 pop scout rush as the Franks. An 18 pop uptime is possible with only a few sieves, and Franks are one of the few that can produce scouts non-stop after reaching feudal with this type of timing, and with almost little to no sacrifice to any part of a normal scout build. I personally love this build and have been using it for a while against top rated players, and am finally excited to show you the finished product. Hope you enjoy! The 18 pop Frank Scout Rush is deadly and extremely favorable for Franks on maps that are open, including, and especially, the new Arabia map generations. Your early uptime will provide you with a chance to get an early scout or villager pick as well as counter most types of feudal pressure coming your way. With the perfect dark age, you should be up to feudal at around 825, which is nearly a minute faster than most other scout builds, and, 15, and a minute 15 seconds faster than most men at arms builds. This means that if your opponent goes either of these standard strategies, you'll immediately have the upper hand on them and can lay the pressure on heavy and early. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, this build is not easy or beginner friendly. It requires that you have deer for faster food gathering and that it's relatively close to your TC, and it also requires a lot of resource adjusting in Dark Age and Feudal Age, and it also requires that you know when and when you cannot click up on time to Castle Age. This build is also a heavy commitment. Because you'll be luring deer so early in the Dark Age, it may be difficult to scout your opponent in time to see what they're planning. So this will matter less with 18 pops since you'll most likely be striking first and before they have walls, but nevertheless it's always a bummer to see your opponent full walling when you're just about to hit Feudal Age and can't do damage. Now the footage here is going to be me showing you this build through a custom game against AI for more readability of the actual build, but if you want to see this build in action against top rated players, check the unlisted video in the description. All that being said, I'm super excited about this one and the only thing left to do is show you how to do it yourself. Let's go get it. And let's get started. So of course we send our first villagers to go and build the two houses and then we're going to send the next few villagers of ours, the first six bills, onto our sheep for food. And you know, while we have the downtime, we figured it'd be a good time to talk about some of the complications of this build. So if you can't find your sheep, uh, or you know, more specifically your deer or your boar quickly enough, this build won't work for you. And instead, you should probably, you know, audible to either, you know, or change rather, into some type of 20 pop build or a 19 pop if you're still feeling really ambitious. But a lot of how you start this game is you need to find those resources quickly or you just have to shift into a different strategy. You're not always going to be able to pull off the 18 pop scout rush um, and you need to know when to adapt. So with that being said, um, once we have our six bills of the sheep, we're going to send the next two over to wood. And for the duration of this build, we're only going to have two on wood for the entire dark age. And you know, this is just because we only need to build a mill and we don't really need that much wood. Um, this does hurt our ability to kind of you know, improvise a build or improvise a little bit later on. So let's say, you know, we didn't like the way things were going and we wanted to, you know, do a, a drush or something like that, you really wouldn't be able to transition. So the second you decide you want to do this build, you have to make a hard commitment. Okay. Now, you'll see there, I sent two villagers over to Lord of the Boar, or over to Wood, and then I, while I sent out the first villager, I sent out uh, a villager that was eating sheep to go and lure the boar. So while the first villager is going to wood, you need to send the first, one of the villagers that's gathering sheep to go and actually gather or pull in your first boar. Um, you can delay this type of you know luring if you find your deer quickly and you push one in, but you never during this build want to consume more than two sheep. And the reason being is the main concern we have with sheep is just the fact that they gather more slowly. So I think maximum you can do about three, three sheep consumption, but um, you really don't want to risk that and you probably won't be able to click up on time because of the food gathering rates uh, of sheep. So, you know, we're just following the build order here. Everything on screen is exactly how it should be. So when I say hunt, I mean either lure the boar or, you know, eat some deer. So, you know, should be relatively self-explanatory there. Um, we are using the TC trick in order to actually go and eat the boar, or actually kill the boar, and that also cuts down a little bit of time on, you know, villager wasted time uh, on, you know, actually killing the boar itself. 
So once we're actually at 15 population, our next two vills are going to go and kill, or rather our next two vills are actually going to go over to our berries. So we're sending our next two vills over to berries, and then, you know, as Franks, this should kind of be enough to hold us over until we put, you know, maybe one or two more uh, onto berries during the, uh, during the feudal age to kind of compensate for the fact that we had less people on berries. But, you know, we have a gathering bonus as Franks, and, you know, this should be fine for the most part. Now, we could send this last villager here, uh, the 18 pop villager, the 17th vill, to berries, but he'll actually lose time in between going to the mill and actually gathering food. And he won't be able to drop off in time any, you know, uh, reasonable amount of food. So what we need to do actually is send them him to our four underneath the TC so he can gather about 10 food. Um, and that actually makes a difference in a lot of the times that you can click up. So there, after you know we've clicked up, we sent four over to our uh, lumber camp there. And then we immediately send four to a straggler tree near our TC. And then the last villager actually, um, you know, from our sheep goes over and starts to build a house and a barracks. Now, when you have this lumber camp, you need to make sure it's efficient. Otherwise, when you click up and you try to reach, um, or rather, you try to build your stable immediately in feudal age, you won't be able to um, if your villagers on the wood line were working inefficiently or if they got caught. So, you know, making sure that you have an efficient wood line is extremely important here. And, um, you know, a lot of these skills are not, are, are on the more difficult side uh, for the Dark Age. So if you're not able to kind of do these things, I, I really wouldn't recommend you do this build on ladder. But I would say that, you know, this is a, a very strong uh, Franks build. So as we're getting closer to the feudal age here, we're actually going to send an extra villager to go and build the barracks. And reason being, obviously, we want that villager to build the stable. They have a little bit of downtime, so I'd waste some time building palisades. But really, you just want to throw in the stable as quickly as you can. And looks like we're good there. So. Now we have the stable being built. We're gonna research the double bed axe whenever we have 50 wood. So, you know, that might come, you know, slightly after uh, your uh, click up. But if you have the most efficient possible lumber camp, then you can probably click uh, double bed axe on time. So the first villager after you reach feudal age actually goes to your berries. And then the next four villagers go to a new lumber camp. Um, do not lose your initial starting scout. That is an absolute disaster. You do not want that to happen. Um, I was a little bit, you know, reckless here because I'm playing against the AI, but in a real game you really can't afford to lose that starting scout. Otherwise, the entire advantage of this build is lost, so don't lose your starting scout. Um, and send the four, uh, next uh, four villagers over to build a lumber camp. And after this, honestly, is kind of a relatively normal, uh, you know, scouts build. So you're going to want to put, you know, you're going to have 10 on wood, you're going to start building farms as much as you can, around population 28, or actually uh, more accurately, Ville 28, Ville 29. You're going to want to start building a gold money camp. And you're going to want to click up to Feudal Age with around, or sorry, to Castle Age rather, with around 34 or 35 villagers. Um, and that's including, you know, you've researched Wheelbarrow along that path. So, you know, follow any other scout builds uh, from this point on and you should be okay. But Really, the, the point of you doing this build in the first place is just to have an early advantage on scout numbers and also to make something happen if they're trying the wall earlier um, and get a few vill picks um, before they can actually you know formulate uh, a reasonable defense against you. So if you actually want to see this build, I know this is against the AI, if you want to see this build in action, I do have a video linked against Dogao down in the description. Uh, at the time, he was ranked about uh, you know 15 or 16 uh, in the world. Um, so I definitely think it's worth checking out and, you know, uh, seeing how this build ends up playing out in, in a real game. Um, but if you do have any questions, I know this might not have been my most, uh, my cleanest video per se. Um, so if you do have questions, uh, I totally understand. Put them down in the comments. I try to re reply to as much as I can. And um, if you need more examples of this build being done, um, you can probably just check my most recent recs on AOE2.net and uh, just download any one of them because I pretty much only exclusively do this build as of late. And uh, you can um, you know, kind of expand your, your Frank's build repertoire from there. But with all that being said, that's kind of all I had for today. Um, let me know if 
you guys would like more builds in the description, or if I should start, you know, diversifying the content a little bit. Um, with AoE 4 coming out, probably going to shift slightly over that way, but, um, yep, until that comes, uh, more AoE 2 videos to release. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.